main thing I'm really excited about this group that we have is that we're old now. Um, I think that there have been people saying about us that we're young and we have we don't have a lot of experience. But you know, the time is now, and I think we're we're all old, and this group has been able to gel and grow together, and we're so tight knit off the floor that I'm super excited to to be able to see when that shows through on the court, and I think teams are gonna. Teams are going to see that we're so much more together and we have so much experience when it comes down to the nitty gritty of the games. And, come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. You know, we just lean on each other heavily and we all love each other. And I think that's the main thing that the teams are going to have to fear from us this year. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Old man out of here. Old man out. I'm really excited to see what this team can become. Uh, I think we have all the makings to have a, a really successful year. There's a, a great mix of young and old. Uh, I'm really proud of the core group uh, of guys that have stuck through some tough times. You know, we we knew a couple years ago when we went young, um, you know, that there was going to be some bumps along the road, and those guys have persevered. They've worked. Uh, they've gotten better. Uh, they're old now. Um, and we believe that group um, is, is one that can succeed at a very high level in this conference. I know they're looking forward to it. They, they really like each other. That's what's really cool about this group. They believe in each other as players. They believe they can be good. Uh, our practices have been spirited. They've been competitive. Got some legs. You gonna finish those dunks today? Bang it with two, right, Dom? Don't go up with two. You go up with one, you might lose it on the bang. I think last year was a big learning year for me, just coming into the year, you know, being new to the Big Ten, new to the team, kind of, you know, with, in terms of playing, I think. It was a lot of just, just learning good shot, bad shot, learning the offense, learning where I can get my, you know, be aggressive where I shouldn't be aggressive. Let's go, bring it down, bring it down. Here we go, here we go. Everyone needs to really lock in mentally, and then we need to go hard today. All right, tomorrow will be an off day, and then we'll have a couple at the end of the weekend where we're going to do some different stuff. So this is an important day. Be sharp, be sharp. Here we go. Get loose, get loose. Hit Chase. Here we go, play. Hit Chase. Come on, Chase. I think this group is really, really different. Like, I think with the guys coming back, like, we've been through everything, like losing to being ranked and winning to you know, being in that middle place where it was like, we could have won these games, but like one, two mistakes here and there. So I think just bringing that just knowledge of the past couple of years and just bringing in the, the young guys, like the freshmen came in and they're doing ex like a great job, like from their first workouts in the summer to now, just seeing their confidence grow, seeing them just being on the court and just being comfortable in their own skin and everybody, you know, even the returners. Chase is a really good player, obviously, and uh, you know, just growing with them over the two, uh, the past two years have really like bonded us together and, and brought us closer uh, as friends. And I think that really helped our relationship like on the court as well. Play off. On those step ups, you don't have to take it over, just go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody's looking at that and then just use the ball screen. Okay. I'm the point guard. I'm the one who leads the ship. You know, I have to have, I have to be the voice I have to be the coach on the court, uh, you know, and coach has done a really good job helping me with that. If you can't, I know, but I'm saying, if you can't turn the corner, just put, peel it back out and then he'll come ball screen for you. I've grown so much since I've been here as a player and the development has been really good for me. And, you know, every day my teammates push me, it just motivates me to keep getting better and, and grinding and we're grinding together. So it's, it just makes it that much more fun. The Northwestern Wildcats are on the air tonight from Welsh Ryan Arena in Evanston. This is Dave Ennett. Nice to have you along. Welcome to a season of Northwestern Wildcat basketball. Play with, play with a purpose, play smart, play together. Remember what we talked about yesterday, guys. You said in your own words, what do you want people to think about this team? We said we, we should be confident. Everybody should be confident. Play freely. It's not your shot, it's our shot. You have a shot to take, get on the glass, play with confidence with everything you do. We want to be together, right? Great huddles, no splintering. Everybody together, no matter who's on the floor. 
All right, those were things that resonated with me. That's who we have to be. Together, confident, playing our ass off. All right, we do that, we'll be really good tonight. Back to Bowie. Bowie driving hard. Lays it up there for Nance for the one-hand flush. Northwestern has shot the ball so well this season. Second best three-point shooting team in the Big Ten. They were brilliant in the first half. Again. This is a good team. I think it's a team that knows their roles. I think it's a team that has a lot of players that can do a lot of different things. I would expect them to be in the conversation, and if not a Big Ten championship contender. Ty Berry into the front court, lobbing the alley up to Perrin. Northwestern, one of the most efficient teams when it comes to assist to turnover ratio. Berry, lobs to Nance for a power slam. This might be the best team Chris Collins has had since the tournament. Nance and Barron and Bowie comes away with it. Lobbing ahead to Nance. It's the 2021 Big Ten ACC Challenge, the Northwestern Wildcats and the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. It is the first true road game for the Wildcats here tonight after playing a couple neutral site games in Newark, New Jersey last week in the Legends Classic where they split a pair of games, suffering their first loss of the year to Providence. Just be us, man. Like, don't stray from the formula. We play together, we share the ball, we can beat our asses on defense and we can win. Let's go, let's go! Wow! The Wildcats come into this game with a record of 5-1. and one. to two run. Roper has it, lead pass Greer. Drives in on Williams and puts it up and in. Find that beautiful. Up top Roper, out to Williams. Works right of the lane, finds Greer. The corner, Barry three, yeah! Ty Barry, three corner, back to within four. Here's Nance, takes a look up, drives right down the lane, puts it up, count it, and a foul. We are tied, 60 all, 434 to go. Looks around, drops it off, Greer, short jumper, good. Ryan Greer from Pete Nance. We're gonna have overtime here in Winston-Salem tonight. Nance, give a go to Bowie, drives in, lays it in. We're tied, 21 seconds to go, 73 all. 19 here, seconds Dave. left, puts up a fadeaway, scores with 4.7, timeout for question. Arabia hits the jumper, 4.7 to go. Well, it's been a heck of a game with 4.7. And Bowie bobbles the ball, lost it to Laravia. The Council have to foul with 1.7. And Wake Forest survives in overtime. 77-73. You know, we, we weren't able to close the deal. We had some critical turnovers. You know, we, we have a good team. You know, I think, you know, the guys are doing a really good job and, and they're really connected and, and you got to, these close games, you got to get in whatever it takes. You got to figure out a way. And uh, unfortunately tonight, we weren't able to do that. I work on three, family on six, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, Good. seven. You know, I love each and every one of my teammates. Um, you know, they're always, they always have my back and, and they're just really great people. And, and being able to be around such a high quality, high quality team, I think is, is one of the main reasons why I love Northwestern so much.
Let's go, let's go. Yeah. I don't feel like known to me. Wake let's up, go, baby, wake up. Let's go. You guys know on the road, we gotta communicate. It's us against everybody in this building, all right? This is the start of a fight. This is a 20 round heavyweight fight that we're starting. This is round one. To win the fight, you go in and you win the first round. You come out swinging and you throw your punches and you set the tone to the fight. This is our day today. Let's go. And here today, the Wildcats embark on the Big Ten season. Just one conference game here in December and they play it against the Terrapins. Chase Audige is back. The Wildcats leading scorer a year ago. Hasn't played at all this season but he's just concluded warm-up. Starters have been posted. He is listed in the starting lineup for the Wildcats. <laughs> Routing out the starting lineup, Ty Berry, Pete Nance, the Wildcats' leading scorer and rebounder, and forward Robbie Barron. At guard, Boo Booey, a 6'2 junior from Albany, New York, the Wildcats' second leading scorer, the Big Ten assist leader. Tap controlled by the Wildcats, wearing the purple. They take it left to right as we see it. Booey behind the three point line gets a pick from Nance. Runner in the lane, good by Boo Booey. And it's a three to two ball game. Drops it to Ardiz, runs in, and throws it down with two hands. Ryan Young with a beautiful move. On the weak side to Barron for three. Yes, Robbie Barron. Nance drives in, turns right hand hook, good. Fast break, Williams to the rim, layup, good. Wildcats lead 28-27. Now a timeout taken by Danny Manning in Maryland. 10 seconds to go, Bowie. Lost one to Nance for the dunk. The Wildcats take a three point lead to the locker room at halftime, 30 to 27. A spectacular play, Bowie to Nance, in the half. Great job, great job. Wildcats ending the half in fine fashion, a 6-0 run, a dunk by Pete Nance to end it. It's a really good end of half. This is what we talked about, what happened to us, Wade, right? We just scored four and it's our ball. Yes, sir. We come out and score the first possession, that's a silent run. Silent run, baby. Way to get a stop. Good presence of mind to get it out, get the last shot, okay? Cats lead by three. Their largest lead has been six. Maryland's largest lead has been three points. Cats will have it first. Barron Green hands it off on D, circling to the foul line. Lobs one inside and Nance who taps it in. And the Cats lead by five. There's Bowie, puts up a floater and scores. Boo Bowie. Kicks it to Barry for three. Good! Ty Barry with his first points. Cats are back in front, 40 to 37. I'll tell you what, I mean, saw Dees might be the guy that's been out for the longest, but he's the most active. Cats bring it up, up five. Here's Greer. Skip pass, Williams three. Good! Elijah Williams three quarter. Cats have their largest lead, eight points, 47-39 with 12.03 to go. Here's Bowie, driving right, hands it off to Barry, guarded by Hart, low right Young, feeds Audiz, cutting down the lane for a layup, good! Hands to Bowie, Bowie driving on Russell, puts up a little jumper, good! The screen gives it to Nance, he'll take a pull up jumper, nails it, Pete Nance, putting the caps up seven, timeout Danny Manning in Maryland, with 2.02 to go. 54 to the right side of the floor. A minute 52 to go. Catch up seven. And but he knocks the ball away from Ayala. Driving down the court to the basket. Scoops it up. Scores. <laughs> 63 54. And for the first time ever, the Wildcats win in College Park. And they are 1 0 in the Big Ten for the second year in a row. The Cats knock off the Terrapins and pick up their first road win of the year. Yes, sir! Let's go, Park! Let's go, go Park! We need it! We need it! And I need it! Uh, 
the leadership has been great, the vibe is in a good spot. All the things as a coach you, you look for in successful teams in terms of those things, the chemistry, the culture, the camaraderie, all those things are at a really high level. Uh, now it's just on us to, to get our level of play to that point. And you know, hopefully it will be a group that, that stays hungry, stays determined, stays confident. And I'm really excited to see what this team can do.